All right, here we are, Gen Con 2015 at the Blue Orange booth, and I have Brandon Parsons here, and uh, we're taking a look at some of the new releases they have this year, and we're going to be taking a look at Armadora. Armadora, that's right. So Armadora is one of our new games. It's a two to four player uh, strategy game where you are uh, some area control involved. You are trying to steal as much of the dwarves gold as you can, and you're going to be doing that by placing uh, your tokens onto the board. So each player is given a set of tokens. They're going to range from one to five points, and what you're going to try to do is place them onto the board face down. At the end of the game, you're going to flip them all face up, and the player with the highest strength in each territory will win that territory's gold. So in the beginning of the game, it's all one big territory. But as we play, we can add these walls to the board to divide the territory into smaller sections of territory. Mm -hmm. You can place two of them on your turn, and they can be separate anywhere you want to on the board. The only rule is you cannot create a territory that is smaller than uh, four squares. So this would be a six square territory, that's okay. But if I put these walls here, it would create a territory smaller than four squares and then break the rule. So it's, all, it's very simple rules. All you're gonna do is either choose to place a token face down on the board or place two walls wherever you want to to, to try to uh, divide the territories into smaller territories. And that's basically it. Uh, there's a little bit of bluffing because the uh, tokens are face down, but it's more of a like a, a spatial, a visual perception, uh, planning ahead. Um, Strategy game. Yes, and uh, there also are some variants with like an additional abilities for each of the uh, different factions. Yes, so the interesting thing about this game is it was actually released in the 90s as a game called Nuggets that was just a solid abstract game. Uh, we re released it um, and added a fantasy theme with a more advanced way of playing. So uh, now each player has the uh, special powers. So, for instance, the goblins can uh, add an additional token because they can replicate faster. Uh, the wizards can uh, reveal uh, the strength of one of face down token, and the elves can shoot arrows to weaken their enemies. So, very, very cool. Yeah, it's a very, very strong, uh, fun strategy game. I got a chance to play it myself, so definitely something to add. Very uh, family friendly, very easy rules, and uh, and a, a nice uh, small footprint, too. You can take yeah. this with you and, and, and uh, play on the go. So. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Yeah, so, all right, then this is uh, Armadora and yeah. uh, Blue Orange Games, so uh, thank you very much, Brandon. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Bye.